Hey, so a lot of people have been asking me to review the Lightpath LED diesel range. Now this product line hit the market a few months ago, sometime in 2023. And yeah, it's something I've been keeping an eye on. Well, I have good news and bad news. The good news is yes, I will be reviewing the diesel line. The bad news is it's a slightly different diesel line. Now let me explain. Scott Kennedy from Lightpath LED messaged me saying, look, they're working on a new and improved Mark II second generation version of the diesel red light therapy line. I actually got my hands on the first edition diesel panel, but there were a couple of issues with that device. So rather than sending it back and getting a new one, knowing that this new Mark II line was coming out, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna wait until the new one's out, test that, get that review out, and then there's no confusion and we're all up to date. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna check out that review because it will be out very, very soon. But more importantly, hang around because what I'll do is go through the key differences, the key upgrades we're getting in this Mark II line. Okay, so first up, they're changing the product line. So Lightpath LED are discontinuing their large panel and instead they're just gonna have their XL shorty and their XL panel. This means that both of the panels are the 15 inch width and it will mean you can clip them together, use them in the stands that they sell and have head to toe coverage. I personally like the wider panel and it's something that I'm pushing and recommending in my reviews going forward. So yeah, it is a smart decision and it's one less product that Lightpath LED have to stock. Secondly, the display is gonna be slightly different, slightly better than the first edition. So that is a nice little upgrade. Next, we're actually getting more LED bulbs in the new Mark II line. The XL Shorty, for instance, which is what I'll be reviewing, has about two dozen more LEDs in it. These LEDs are increasing the coverage area on a width point of view. It's not making it taller, it's actually making it wider. So that's great. Thirdly, and this is quite a big announcement, the LEDs are going to be triple chip LEDs. It's something we haven't seen much of in this space. Uh, we've seen a few panels with dual chip LEDs, but triple chip is gonna mean that the light is nicely spread and you're getting a mix of both near infrared and red light in every single LED bulb. So what I've been told is that one bulb will have two chips putting out 18 nanometer near infrared light and then one chip emitting either the 620 or the 670 nanometer red light. So if you want a panel that is gonna put out a heap of 810 nanometer light, then yeah, this one is gonna be for you because literally you're gonna get two or 300 LEDs that are all putting out 810 nanometer light. Pretty cool. What else can I tell you? Well, the power output is going two thirds to the near infrared light at 810 and one third to the red light with your 620 or your 670. So again, if you're into 810s or into the benefits of near infrared light, yeah, you're gonna love this new panel. Finally, and probably best of all, despite the new improvements, despite the additional LEDs in it, the price is staying the same. So there's no changes on that front. So pretty cool stuff. Like I said, be sure to hit subscribe because very, very soon I will be getting out my review with the new Lightpath LED XL Shorty Diesel 2.0, second edition, Mark II, whatever you want to call it. In the meantime, why don't you go back and watch my old review of the Lightpath LED Pulsed Multi-Wave Panel. Remember, this is a few years old now, but you might enjoy watching that as you wait for the new and improved line of Lightpath LED panels.